Hey everyone, this is Alex, USA Days. So today I wanted to talk about a couple things that I keep on reminding myself as I work. Uh, and I think number one is that QA is not a race, it's a marathon, right? I find myself, you know, doing something daily. A couple hours, I mean, you have to spend a little bit of time working on things, even after work and learning things and looking at things and figuring things out. It's the part of the game. There's no way, you know, if you're going to go and do like a program three, two months, four months, six months, doesn't matter. And immediately, you know, quality assurance. Like, okay, let's jump into it. I, I did all this work in that short amount of time and that's it. I know everything about it. First of all, if you don't practice something regularly, um, you're going to forget it really fast, right? Uh, second, when you start working as a Q engineer, your journey just starts. Like getting into the industry, it just the beginning of it. You can't go and like get I don't know certification and uh, you're done. You're, you're a Q engineer. Your race is over. No, that's the beginning of the marathon. There's a continuous learning process. New tools come out. Uh, new technologies. You will be changing products. Uh, those products will have different stacks. So there's always learning process. It's nonstop. Um, almost everything in tech like this, development, QA, you're always learning things. You're always figuring things out. It's normal. It's part of the process. And it's uh, very important to keep at it little by little. So as you keep on doing things a little bit, maybe a couple hours a day or an hour every day, it's important that you do it daily. You keep on building your foundation. You keep on strengthening it, right? You, you get good at things over time. You'll have to spend significant time doing things, actually doing it, like, with your hands, right? Not just looking at things, not just reading about things, but actually doing things. Uh, and over time, you know, you will have a very good, solid knowledge that you keep, keep on practicing daily. That's why it is a marathon, right? You have to do it continuously. And then there's no shame uh, going back and strengthening foundation, you know, picking up some basics on languages that you don't know, or you forgot things. It's just going back and redoing uh, maybe even some trivial stuff, but you know, you forgot. It's normal. Um, if you don't use some tools for a while, you're definitely going to forget things. If you don't program it in some language for a while, you're definitely going to forget it. So uh, it, it is important to be up to date, to be persistent, and uh, to keep on learning and practicing daily. There's no way it's possible to do it in a month or two months, even if you spend like eight, 10 hours a day, because if you, as soon as you stop, that's it. You start falling behind. You start forgetting things, things move forward. You're not practicing, you're not doing something. It's just, you know, it's impossible to, to to stay at the same level all right so first thing is it's a, it's a marathon it's not a race second thing is um sometimes when you face in a big project you can be paralyzed by it like you don't know what to do you have this whole huge thing you don't know where to start how to approach it um and what i tend to do and i think what helps is uh writing things down taking notes so you can write a list of small things that you can do today uh, that are related to that project, maybe setting up an environment. You know, I have to read the doc. Uh, I have to go and install the tool. I have to create uh, the diagram, whatever that is. You just write down things that you can control and you can work on daily in the moment now today. And you will find as as you go through the list and as you check things off, cross them out, uh, you will develop, you know, kind of working mode and you will get into actually doing more for the project, what needs to be done. And uh, your small tasks become your kind of a, you know, your pathway to understanding what you actually need to do, uh, how to approach and tackle bigger projects. By doing small things, you know, you'll kind of branch out into bigger things that can be done. And then you'll see like a whole picture. Okay, how can I tie everything together and how can I approach it? 
Um, for example, if you're working on testing feature that doesn't have any requirements, right? Or um, documentation is off based on what you see, how it acts, right? So you start small, you start with checklist, right? Uh, you go and discuss it with your project manager saying, okay, I see this, this, and this, and this, and I assume this is the user flow. Is this part of the module important? Can I do this? Can I do this? Is that checked? Is that checked? Once you have a checklist, it's reviewed, you had a discussion on it, you can start working on test cases and expand those checks into actual, like, um, you know, I do this, this, and this, this is the outcome. I do this, this, and this, and this outcome. This is important, right? So kind of building upon it, layer after layer, uh, increasing from small to big, increasing complexity. Um, yeah, and just, you know, doing something. So yeah, two things uh, that I keep on reminding myself, and I think it's important to to do that because otherwise you'll get stuck or you'll just backtrack. Um, so th thing number one is QA is a marathon. You should keep a certain pace. You should not over push. Uh, you can burn out if you do too much. So make sure that you are consistent, right? Um, and that you know, you, you, you delegate the time needed, like a couple hours a day after work, additional things that you need to learn. Uh, and expect that things going to take time, right? A couple months, half a year, sometimes a year, you know, learning a tool and getting good at it, continuously doing something or a language, um, programming language, right? So, and the second thing is, like, if you feel something like is big, you're facing something big that you can't really deal with or you're stuck, you don't know how to approach it. Just start writing things down, like small things that you can do um, to keep on walking into that direction of a bigger goal until you discover that you actually have a, a pretty solid roadmap uh, because the small things that you start doing on, you start doing something, they can expand and grow into more and more things that you can do. Okay. So yeah, uh, I think those things are important, at least in my career as a queue engineer, I, I find them helpful. I, I find those reminders really helpful to, you know, to stay on track. Uh, hopefully it helps you. So this was Alex, you say days. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.